Hi guys, it is Olivia with Olivia Marquez Real Estate and I wanted to answer a few questions that have been coming in my direct messages. Um, earlier this week I posted about the underwriting process and I was just explaining that underwriting is the process in your loan application where all of your assets and your income and that information that you provided on your application is actually being verified. So you submit your application, you get your pre-approval, yay, time to go house shopping, all of that wonderful stuff. But then your application goes to an underwriter and that underwriter is gonna go through everything with a fine tooth comb and it's gonna ask you to verify and validate all of the information that you put down there because we wanna make sure that if we approve you for a home that is $500,000 that you can actually pay for it. You know, a lot of things look good on paper, but then when you look behind the curtain, you know, it's a completely different story. Um, so that's the reason for that. What I always advise my clients is anything the underwriter or your mortgage loan officer is asking for, give it to them, give them, you know, more than what they need um, so that you can get pre-approved, right? It's a cooperative experience. Um, and then a question that came through is, can your loan be denied even after you've closed on the home? And the answer might be surprising to some, but actually, yes. Yes, your home can, your loan can be denied even after you've closed on a home. And so the, what would cause that is if your debt to income ratio has changed, if your income has changed. If anything has changed on your financial profile um, between the approval and the closing date, and sometimes, you know, like a day or two after, um, because you have to think about it, the bank is still validating and verifying that information even up to closing, or, um, you know, and, and, you know, the following week. So, I know you're excited to buy that home. I know you're excited that you got pre-approved and you're planning everything out. However, do not buy those appliances. Do not buy that furniture. Do not do anything that's going to jeopardize and risk your home purchase. Just wait it out until all of the dust settles and all of your debt to income ratio and your income and all of that is tied up in a pretty bow. And then once you get that house, I would say even call your mortgage loan officer first and see what they recommend before you make any type of purchases that's gonna change your financial profile. Um, so that's just a tip that I wanted to share with you. I hope you guys are just loving this new year and you're excited about your goals and your um, the accomplishments that you're gonna have by the end of the year. Um, if you have any questions about your home buying or your home selling journey, I am here for you. This is what I love to do. Like you see in my profile on Instagram, people and property truly are my passion and this is what I do it for. Um, so 678-243-8277. Feel free to shoot me a text message, give me a call, Follow me on Instagram. My name is Olivia M underscore Realtor. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a wonderful day, guys.